on to game number one between these two. On PS2 to start? Oh yeah, baby. They're wild for that. There's there's so much opportunity for this game to go haywire so fast. Between the way that Rob is able to expertly control this space, and then the way that Snake could just deny so much percentage. Battle of the Zonos, baby, and battle the two Zonos with suspiciously good boxing tools. Uh, yep. The likes of which you do not expect the late hit of the down as well. Holding onto that down smash for the daily life. Good directional air dodge in though, right? Yeah, you I eat like that, that back hit so that hey, you take damage, but you're at least making it back onto the stage. That's a position that Josh is going to want to put himself in over and over again. Being directly below Snake, while you're certain that you don't have to worry about the C4, that's so pivotal to extending your pressure oh, yeah. because you don't have to really worry about Snake down air like that. And good spacing on that dash attack too to both cover that landing A and still pick up Gyro. So beautiful stuff there. Needs a way to be able to land <laughs> that grenade coming in so clutch, not able to go all away in time. Going up all the way and doesn't get that air dodge coverage in time, a little bit too slow, and oh my god, that almost killed. I like that, though. Threatening that space with a grenade so that you forced Josh them into a poor situation. I'm okay. loving the awareness of the space by Eli again. Yeah, also, Eli. the survivability! Fans at 211! Oh my gosh, and almost getting that dash grab, too. That could have been the up throw. And he now really tried to drag down there. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. But Joshathan gets that stock off. Joshathan now up, you know, 32 at 120%. A good up tilt is all that it's going to take. But gets that Jaya into the side B. Has Eliakim at a pretty awful position. Baits that air dodge and tries to go for another air dodge read. Joshathan is going for big reads, and you can't do so when you have this big of a lead. You know, the air dodge to catch the gyro, honestly, if he was at a lower percentage, it would have been a great idea. But Joshathan is on fire right now. Yeah, that down tilt side B as well. What can you do? What can you even do as Snake to get away from that in time? Neutral, a gyro toss as well. We catch Joshathan's advantage state this all over the Lyakim. That Nikita missile not doing too much to deter uh, Rob. Down throw, forward throw though, all right. Yeah, no possible options at that position at that point in time. And now just gonna be cycling back on, does not matter. Joshathan is just all over him with this coverage. I feel like a lot of the issue with this matchup for Eliakin has just been how well Rob is able to cover the space off stage without committing to being off stage. Oh, yeah. And Tresco for that double jump up again. Air dodging back down to the ground. Wow. I feel like a lot of this match can kind of just boil down to the fact that a lot of these air dodges ended up getting stuffed out by Joshith and G. Um, and Eliakin maybe like didn't fully mix up as much as possible with like a lot of neutral B B reverses. Granted, you do always have to look out for you know the rising up is from Rob, especially when it comes to catching the landing. Hence why you know he opted for a lot more immediate air dodges, but they got stuffed out. I think when it came to the boxing tools is where Josh then was really able to run away with this game one, and I would not be surprised to see game two go in a similar fashion. Although we do move to Hollow Bastion for the next game. I, there's still a lot of opportunity for Rob to control this space and yeah. misposition Eliakim in a way where he'll be able to box out, whether it's down tilt, whether it's dash attack. Oh my gosh, and then setting up this juggle yet again, getting that up in just within land. 20 seconds? Within 20 seconds. That's what happens when you get a little bit lost in the sauce. You have to distance check. Before you press uh, C4 out of like that position, you have to check the distance between you and your opponent. That air dodge, I mean, Josh is playing beautifully. This is just phenomenal control. And Alikin almost seems lost in how to try to make use of projectiles yeah. to have a footprint on this match. Setting up that Jago yet again, Josh with him. Trigo in hand, just really overwhelming. Eliakim with a lot of these projectiles. Goes through the C4 recovery, but eats a lot of damage in the process. Still on the hunt, not finding anything, but just a simple jab. Just a little bit of breathing room. And Rod doesn't even let you kept toss those grenades out. Be it either a Jago or a laser, all of them end up stuffing out Eliakim's uh, attempts with the grenade. Ooh, I do like that catch, though. That was nice. Nice, yeah, good stuff. Again, it's a spatial awareness from Eliakin is making this look a lot more doable. The, the percentage on board, it's a little rough. Oh. The catch of the gyro from the down smash as well. Just a little dash dance back and forth. Josh the, the G playing like sandwich. this is his set to win. Yeah, 
and he's playing with the confidence of such, the momentum of such, the setups of such as well. He's pressing Z drop and neutralizing in the corner. I smell a side beat. I smell it, and it is not a good smell. But getting that back through to get through that cipher. Josh Ooh. is playing so hard. Pressure not ending even from one side of the stage to the other. Coast to coast. Josh is on the hunt to catch with up air and secure a swift 2-0. That was suffocation. That entire game, that entire set, it just felt like Joshathan uh, was always the one that was on top of a lot of his projectile play, covering landings, covering a lot of projectiles from his opponent as well. Um, but I do want to quickly mention something about that first stock uh, really, really quick from this game. Um, specifically just because of this concept of distance checking. So, Snake, really powerful option. Traditionally, you know, you want to land with C4, you want to land with a lot of Beery Boost grenades. Right. You have to check the distance between you and your opponent to be able to actually execute on something. If, a, if your opponent is all the way back down to the ground, like over here, yes, you can absolutely get away with it, right? Because you have enough time to set up that kind of thing. If you press grenade here, there is even more risk because that could end up also exploding you. You just have to check the distance and then be like, okay, do I air dodge or can I go through my later setup stuff? Right. Can I do my C4? Can I do my beer reverse grenades? And then you press C4 uh, from this point and you just get that up yeah. right off. Rob just has the tools to be able to chase vertically like that, and Joshathan showed an expert level of control with the movement. <laughs> I think it was specifically his movement that allowed him to just be everywhere all at once. Oh, yeah. And whether that coverage was extended by Gyra, whether it was the laser like you highlighted a couple of times, whether it was just being aware of where the grenades were and not respecting that space constantly, smothering where Lion mm -hmm. wanted to position. Yeah, so that with that, that being said, Joshathan just going to be moving on through the bracket. Uh, beautiful performance. We have a lot of really good performances today. Yeah. Swell is playing clean. Um, you know, Joshathan, as we just saw as well. We got, a, we got an exciting day ahead of us. Yeah, no, it's been a great start for Ultimate here at Defend the North 2022. Yeah. But that is it for us starting things off. So thank you so much for joining myself and Dara. Make sure to stay tuned because we will be moving into the second half of pools for Smash Ultimate here at Defend the North 2022. Yeah, got a couple of fantastic casters coming on up. Definitely not ones that you want to miss. You'll be seeing more of us uh, tomorrow. I believe both of us are going to be slotted in day two. For anybody that's not already doing so, follow my lovely, incredible co-caster, Hangman at Hangman the 12th. I can read not Roman numerals. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad. I'm sure you are, buddy. And you can also find me at Durham Gully on Twitter as well. Uh, yeah, with that being said, guys, don't go anywhere quite yet. Get a little snack, get a little drink, uh, and we will be back with wave two of the first round of pools. In borders Europe and Africa. Mediterranean. Darren Frost, Dance of Screen, line four. For to be more alive is to live out of line. Incredible. Okay, that's enough for today.